Welcome back to the channel. Well, we haven't worked on this car in a while and it's due for an oil change. I've had the 85 Camaro now for the better part of a year and I've actually been driving it, daily driving it and having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it's holding up well, it's running better. I threw a can of sea foam in the tank. Really getting some good um, enjoyment just driving it around this summer. Um, so let's get into changing the oil on it and we'll go through some of the other things that uh, I've been uh, you know noticing about the car and uh, hope you guys stay tuned for a great video Okay, we gotta jack this thing up because it is a low riding car. So that means it's a low riding jack, which is perfect. I wanna get a little bit of light because underneath this thing, it has a cross member to get at and a big huge flap to keep the, the radiator So our oil of choice is 10W30 Valvoline. This is the standard stuff. You can't get this at O'Reilly anymore. And who does have it is Walmart. And believe it or not, inflation and everything, it was only 21 bucks for a five quart. And I got the Wix filter, which I used last time. 51069, which used to be a PF24 AC Delco filter, which they don't make anymore. Uh, this is, <laughs> O'Reilly was asking like 11 or almost $12 for the filter. I got this on Amazon for seven, uh, 50 and some change delivered, no shipping costs. So that's our $28 oil change, um, which is, I think is pretty affordable considering. So we got her up in the air and now we're going to get our friendly drain plan out and I'll shift to under car mode here with some wrenches and get ready to take off that oil filter and uh, I'm gonna throw on some latex gloves as well too so which I just got a new pack at Harbor Freight so this is good for this job Is we'll uh, end up using some of these. So, and these are five mil thickness. So, I shouldn't say it's latex nitrile. So, okay, let's get under. 
Okay, so let's take our handy dandy Cyclops light here and throw some light on the subject. Nope, let's take these. I've had this oil pan for quite a long time. It's pretty handy because you can get uh, everything and just pour it out. So, and I'll bet. Tells you how much I've changed the oil on this thing. It's a 9/16, and our filter is right here. So, and things are still warm. So, <clears throat> man, she's on. Okay, so I'm ready for the sploosh here. go and it actually doesn't look too bad so it's a little brown but like I said it's been in for about a year since I restarted the car so and I run a 10w30 in it I think it's the best for this motor I'm just not too big on running like a 2050 or anything else. I think it's just too much. Okay, now the things are drip draining out of the car. Start prepping this filter and get the oil ready here. A little bit of lubrication on top of the rubber seal there. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put this back on just to prevent accidents, save lives, all that kind of stuff. All right, so let's get the filter back on and then we'll uh, tighten everything up and put some oil back in. All right, guys, this thing's just about done dripping out here. It's just got a small amount, I think we're gonna call it. So this does one thing for sure, is that it will get us uh, that piece out. get this tight enough to that's good all right so now we can meander that out of the way and there's our oil filter housing and we're just gonna dress it up just to make sure there's nothing there which looks nice and clean. The oil that's coming here as well, as I was underneath here looking, you can definitely see that there's some leakage around the oil pan and it's traveling through here. And uh, it's probably definitely windaging to the back. Nothing super serious yet, but you know, I would assume since this thing's got you know, the original gaskets, uh, at least on the bottom end, that um, uh, things are, you know, starting to kind of loosen up. And the seals are are probably getting tired. At least driving it daily is probably a good thing because it helps loosen up some of those seals. All right, here she comes. There we go. Let's get her in there. New, new, new. The motor's like thinking, yeah, a yummy new oil filter. And I just kind of get these on snug enough to get it seated without doing much more than that. 
see some guys put a wrench on those whatever that's just to me bad mojo so okay we are done below gathering the wrenches got a couple of drip drips to do here we'll get that on the other side all right this is from up top top so we've got a couple options i got this one big mouth filter that i think it'll do okay i always get nervous about it that one's kind of the, not as wide one of these days i should just buy a better bigger wider filter filter did i say filter i meant funnel so here's the challenge is i'm gonna do a dry pour here well i've got this in the way here already yeah what do you do with a light so yeah test run Okay, wrong proximity. How about that? Yeah. So that's going to be the challenge is that you got this thing here. You know what I mean? So I'm already seeing a catastrophe waiting to happen here. That's a long pour. I wish I had a bigger funnel. So. Our other option is that option. I don't know, guys. I suppose that, and then there, you get a bunch of foot filters all crummied up. I got another idea. Let's do this. But I think what I really need to do. Put a filter or put a funnel on order. Okay, here you go. Live action. Woo! We did it. Hell yeah! Look at that. I can hear it filling up. I guess it's doing the trick. That's the problem. You do these that often, and it just doesn't become a regular thing. Hey dude, what's going on? What's going on with you? We're pouring brand new liquid gold in the motor. Check it out. So. Five quarts of 10 W30. Are oh. you still making the video? We sure are. We're making the video right now. American Valvoline. Wait, is it made in USA? That means red. Red, and right, and blue. That's in there. That's five quarts. Oh, that's a lot. It is a lot. Is there still gas in there? No, there's a little trace of oil in it though. Well, that's gas. the old oil in the pan over there. Yeah. Oh. All right. That's old oil. That's like, like very old, like 20 Shh. years. Or... No, about a year. Okay, that's it. We got the oil in. Now what? We can take this filter off and we'll do a little bit of clean up there. Put our cap on. There we go. Turn off the Cyclops. Let's take her down from the jacks and start her up. Okay, we got it done. We got all the oil in. Here's the old oil and filter in our fancy pan. Now we gotta take and jack the car down. So let's do that. Okay, car's back on the ground and we're ready to start it, right? So once you hold it, we're we're going to start it up. Cool. Nice and smooth. Nice and quiet. Got oil pressure too. Come over here. pressure on the gauge so it's hard to see okay it's getting dark yeah all right okay. so it's ready now yeah it's good now, that nice, was our 
our last nice new step. oil. <laughs> and we forgot something. We gotta get this. Uh, white. White. Okay. Shiny white. All right. You don't want to point it. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed the oil change on the 85 Camaro. Stay tuned for more videos. Hope you guys are having a great summer. And thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. Check the dipstick, Jimmy. There we go. Nice clean oil. Right there on the dipstick. Where it needs to be. Cool. Alright. Cool. Thanks for watching.